So I was asked by Ruben over at Muscle City Madness to take the 20K and under car challenge. 20,000 don't get you much, but it does get you something. My name is Brad, this is Poor Boy's Garage. So 20K, which 20K gets you these days if you're looking for an old school drag race car? Well, let me show you. So as you guys remember, we bought this car from Ed Miller up at Ed Miller's place in Virginia. And my uh, buddy of mine went in halves on it. Sat around here for a good, you know, four months or whatever. Didn't, didn't do nothing with it, really wasn't planning on doing much with it. Um, then of course No Name Nationals kicked off. I had a bunch of YouTubers asking me if I want to do No Name Nationals. And I was going back and forth on what car should I bring. At the time I had the purple ratty saddy. And I was like, well, I'll just, you know, maybe I'll just do something, you know, quick and easy on this one. Just to get it down the track, nothing crazy. Then everything got the best of me and my type A personality was like, oh, let's take the ultimate challenge, you know, Marine Corps style. Let's, if we're gonna do it, let's do it right. So uh, I ended up buying out my buddy on the 69 Plymouth and from there, it was just a spiral domino effect downhill. Four forty was an old drag race motor. They were racing it in a duster. Uh, the duster got sold. The motor was pulled, and what they wanted to do was uh, put it in another car. Well, life happened. They put the Indy heads on it. Never did nothing else to it. They wrapped it up, put it in the back of a shop, and uh, that's where it sat for I don't know a few years now. Uh, my buddy Dennis, you guys see him in a lot of the. Um, like the transmission build and you know you see them in a few of my vids but anyway so i ended up giving up the two cars i delivered them and gave them about fifteen hundred dollars in cash and that's how we started out with the uh the heart of the whole operation so four grand about give or take with the cars i bought motor you know right off the bat when you're messing with anything dominator you're gonna pay to play i think i paid a grand for that and then the list goes on Aluminum radiator, you know, everything adds up here slowly. All the stuff you don't think about. I think the MSD was 500. Aluminum radiator, those aren't too painful. I think it was like uh, two something fans. Um, headers, those will hurt. Those are those were about 800. I think seven. Engine plate was a buck 80, not too bad. Uh, electric water pump. Uh, I can't remember that. Not, not nothing too painful. It's just all this stuff just starts adding up. That's the, that's the problem. So I sold every good piece I had around here in order to put all the money I had into this 
uh, drag car. So I had a few nice pieces that I'm kind of hurts my feelings to even talk about, but I got rid of that in order to have a good, you know, a good stack of cash so I could just start whipping out money and, and you know, just start throwing it at the car. So you guys know this car. Uh, I think with all my receipts and everything, and I'll show you that, I kept all my stuff. You're probably looking at, and I just, I just rough guesstimated, uh, you're probably looking at 17 I'm probably up to now. And here, my friends, are all my receipts for this car to make it happen. Boom, 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 They're just falling all over. I usually put them in a binder. But if I add all these up, of all the stuff that's been done to that car, yeah, 17 grand all day. I mean, it's still not bad for, you know, keeping it under, you know, you pay, you're gonna pay, you know, almost 25, 20 for, you know, a, a car in this condition, give, give or take. So, what really did hurt me though, the transmission didn't even hurt, the transmission came from, uh, oh. So if you guys remember, I had another 440 when I originally started this car. Paid four grand for that 440, but it came with a transmission out of like a 68 satellite. So we ended up taking that um, trans, put a trans brake in it, rebuilt the whole thing, Dennis and I. And you can see that in most, uh, some of the videos down in the poor boys. But uh, that ended up coming with the motor. So I really ain't gonna say, those things go probably for like 350 now. It's just a good 727, you know, a used one. 350, 450 right in there. So trans, but what, what hurt me on this was the uh, tires. The tires, I think I grabbed them for, those are Hoosiers 32s, 14.5 by 15s. And those were about uh, close to 980, I wanna say for both. And then by the time you put tubes in, I, grab, I put tubes in mine and um, getting them mounted and stuff, you know, you're, you might as well just say a grand on that, so. Oh, I did it, 20K challenge. 17 grand, give or take a little bit. You got some buddies that'll help you out. Got a couple hookups here and there if you're in the car game. You sell everything you own and then you go cry later. This is what it'll get you. Right around there, give or take. You know, usually if I'm looking at Facebook Marketplace, 25 is about, 20 to 25 is what I'm seeing, like an average, good, decent, old school drag race car. You know, don't quote me on that, guys. Don't hit me on the comments. It's just what I'm seeing in this area. You guys might be seeing them a little bit less out there, but poor boy's garage, 17 grand, sold everything, and uh, this is what I got. So we're looking forward to going on, doing some testing this month and maybe next month on the drag strip, no more in the rain, and uh, we'll see what she can do. I'm about tapped out though. I'm, I'm hoping the converter, the stall converter is good enough for this car. I'm hoping everything is jiving. I might do an oil change and change the plugs out a little bit, you know, here and there. And uh, that's it, we're heading to Miz Missouri, right? Sykeston, I guess that's where it's at, if it's still gonna happen. Anyway, my name is Brad, 20K Challenge, we're done, we're out.